Hey guys, welcome back to Modern Golf. I hope you're doing great. Thank you for visiting your favorite channel. Well, it may not be your favorite channel, but I think it's my mom's favorite channel besides that puppy channel she likes. But anyway, welcome back to Modern Golf. I hope you guys are having a great day and better week. Today we are talking about the limited edition black and camo Jones Rover stand back. So for a lot of those people who say I'm a 14 way bag snob, I'm gonna tell you I'm slowly converting my thoughts of 14 way bags. That being said, I've been testing this one for the last several weeks and I gotta tell you, it's one of my favorites that I've ever used in the 30 years of golf. And so we'll get into all the specifics of this bag, the specs, what I like, what I would like to see tweak, and it's not perfect, so there are a couple things we'd like to kind of tweak, but overall, really our overall feeling of this golf bag, and, and again, one of my favorites that I've ever used. So with that being said, let's get into the kind of the overall specs of this bag, right around 35 inches, depending on where you measure, as I say, toe to nose, um, Right a little over four pounds when we scale it. Um, super lightweight bag for the features it has. Um, this is made of a Cordura material. Um, so super resistant. I have used this I think four times now, four, maybe four or five times. Um, it's held up really well. The material is like a ballistic nylon, so it holds up really well. Uh, but overall, really, really like this golf bag. Um, the top is something that is very unusual to me. This goes back to kind of old school, uh, which I have a little bit of admiration to. I kind of enjoy this. Um, three sections. Uh, so I go driver, four wood, um, hybrid putter, gets jammed in here somewhere. Uh, and then my irons, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then my wedges, pitching uh, 50, 54, and 58. Fits great. I've had no issues, surprisingly not, of getting clubs in and out. So I've I'm, I'm really been pleased with this bag. I've enjoyed every aspect of it. So let's go kind of the features real quick. Um, again, the first thing that I will say that I really have enjoyed is some of the pockets, uh, the necessities, the, the minimum, and it holds enough for me, and I really have enjoyed it. So first thing here is this umbrella loop here. Now uh, there's a little bit of a sleeve that I love. Uh, as you guys know, it's one of my favorite things. Uh, Ping used to do this. I love that Jones has done this um, with this bag. Really, really good. Um, I'm not a big umbrella guy, um, to be fair. Um, I'd have to probably go searching for an umbrella. However, uh, I've been rained on a few too many times at the beginning of this year, um, and so I will probably pick up an umbrella uh, for this bag here shortly. Um, this pocket here is one of my favorites, and I'll, it's velour line, and I'll take better pictures of it, but it's also the perfect place for your phone. Um, has a little netting here, and obviously you could put your wallet or your keys or what have you in here, but absolutely love it. Um, I would say the, the velvet or velour is fine. Uh, it could be an area that I think down the road maybe they step up, but again, this price point is too, I think it's 280, and, and I'll double check, I could be wrong. Um, but again, a good value for what you get. Larger pocket here um, where the Cordura is, um, your rain hood. And you guys know how I feel about rain hoods. Not a huge fan of them. This is just a typical rain hood. Has some nice little kind of leather accents, which I thought was cool. But overall, just a kind of a typical rain hood. I have not used the rain hood as a rain hood yet. Um, hopefully I never will, but again, it's in there. Nothing really else in the pocket there is, and this was a, to a topic of conversation recently, um, there is a zipper to get into your bag. If you lose your Rolex down in here, you do have a zipper uh, to get down into it. Oh, now I get it. So you can zip that up. What I also like what Jones does, and, and, and again, I was wearing Jones golf hats for years um, and never owned a bag. I had a lot of you guys say, you gotta try the Trooper, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. Um, I never really got into um, their bags. Um, and I don't know really why, but long story short, uh, love the little rubber patch here. I love the details of when they were established and all the good stuff here. Um, really really enjoy the bag so let's get into this part of it the, what i call the twisted knot or the handle that's kind of intertwined super you know it's funny when i when i first got this and i said boy what am i going to do with you know it's a very cool rover bag i like it um i didn't know what to do without 
kind of the top cuff that I'm used to grabbing. Um, that was the only thing I took a little bit, maybe one or two holes to kind of get used to it. But the double handles here, I absolutely loved. I love the, the feel um, and, and the hand of this golf bag. Another little nice touch what I like is the rubber uh, Jones logo here. This up here where all the straps connect is plastic. I would say at some point um, I would like to see this maybe aluminum. I know we're talking cost uh, and weight getting involved here or even a, a faux carbon fiber here may look really cool on some of their limited edition bags. But there's a Velcro thing here and I just happen to have uh, a glove here. So it's literally, I think, a great size. It doesn't pull off easy. Um, does a nice job and you can see large square here. Really nice job by Jones. This is, I think, where this bag is super cool. Um, this is, it looks like it's going to be some type of button closure or zipper. It's just a magnet in here. And there's actually a couple little things in here uh, that make it look a little more military-esque. I actually hooked my speaker to here, um, that little JBL that I did. Um, obviously, there's a lot of places I can hook it on here, but I hooked it on here, did great. Very large pocket, I would say, if you have something like a Yeti like this, it fits in there great, closes up and you're good to go. Um, I will also say, I know some people put their golf balls in here. I actually put my apparel in here. I had a raincoat uh, that we thought it may have rained and I put it in there and it was great. So I love this pocket. Um, the little slash zipper pocket here, you could put golf balls. If you're not, if you're a guy who carries 68 golf balls, um, it's probably not gonna fit in there. But if you carry a dozen or so, they fit in there, which is great. The handle here down here is great as well. Uh, just fabric, but it's a very dense fabric, feels good in your hand and very easy to grab uh, if you're getting your car or getting, getting your car, getting your bag out of your car or if you're like me who you kind of use this um, kind of as a stabilizer when you're carrying the bag, it's great. I love the base. This is one of the things I absolutely love about this bag and you can see the base is what I would call like a hoofer um, that when the bag is being um, set down, the base is flat, which I love. They also do, as you guys know, I'm a junkie for, they put their logo, I wish they made it in a different color. I'm not gonna kill them for that, but I would did wish it would have uh, maybe the Jones in white. It does have some nice, which I think we talked about before, rubber touch points. So it is secure on slick material or slick materials on sidewalks or bridges or what have you. Really, really good golf bag. I really, like I said, I've really enjoyed this. Uh, this little, I love this. Um, I don't know really, I guess you could put your straps through here at some point. This reminds me of like the old Eastland um, or East Pack uh, backpacks, which I absolutely love. Love what they've done uh, with their details. This is one of the best, um, I would call hip pads that I've used in a long time. I really like it. It's, it's very dense. It's soft and dense at the same time, if that makes sense. Um, I would like this maybe a little larger um, for guys who are on the larger size, um, I think, but it does a really nice job. The other pocket here, and you can hear how nice uh, the zippers open and close. They're not all waterproof. I don't know. Yeah, no, no waterproof zippers on this bag. Uh, the zipper pulls are nice of plastic, uh, but you can hear it open up real easy. Very large uh, pocket in here. Really good job. Lastly with this guy is the legs. Legs are good. They feel aluminum. Probably think they're aluminum. Uh, the rubber feet are kind of what I would, as I told you guys before, I think kind of the standard for a lot of golf bags are like the in-between between small feet and large feet, but do a great job. Uh, there is a lockout here with the Velcro. If you do want to put it on a cart or if you're afraid this is going to open or for traveling purposes, good to lock them down. They also do a tough guard here at the bottom uh, and it literally fits perfect. You guys know we've had this topic of conversation before if you've been on this channel or watching any of the reviews. They, theirs hits perfect. So if your, your feet of your golf bag is muddy, it hits this and not uh, the material of the golf bag. Um, so overall, my thoughts are, I think it's one of the probably top two or three walking bags uh, currently made. It is a phenomenal golf bag. Out of a 10, it's a 9.8 out of 10. Uh, they've done a really, really, really good job. Um, some other things I missed, and I'll show you guys, there's a little, a uh, hook here 
uh, for your rangefinder. Again, at some point, would I like that to be aluminum or something a little more durable? Yeah, I, I think that's the only thing, I, my only knock with this golf bag at all is the use of plastics. Um, I think if they upgrade these to aluminum or even a faux carbon fiber to give a little more uh, of a higher end aesthetic, I think it'd be great. But overall, phenomenal, phenomenal golf bag. I think if you're a guy who walks occasionally or walks all the time, don't bypass the Jones. Now this colorway is limited edition. I don't know how long it's going to be here. Um, but again, I absolutely love it. Um, one of my favorites and certainly will be probably in our top so many when we do all of our bag reviews here at the end of the year of, of when we rank these. Just a really, really, really good job. Um, it's not ultra, ultra lightweight like the Titleist like we've done that's under three pounds. Um, but at four pounds, a little over four pounds, it's a really nice job. And if you're a guy who wants a simple club setup with three sections this is this is the bag I think to get uh, in 2024 and 25 but anyway guys hope you guys enjoyed this one of our favorite bags for the year by far hope you guys enjoyed this uh, if you're new here please subscribe please like um, I know for some of us this time of year it's August this kind of feels like the end of the golf season or getting there uh, I don't ever really feel that way although I'm in Ohio so probably by October November I kind of settle down but we have a ton of stuff still to do especially our end of the year uh things that we do so please subscribe please like and lastly please let me know what you're looking for if there's something you want us to review um, or you have a question on by all means shoot us a message uh, either at um, our modern golf website or certainly on social media and we try to respond as fast as we can so anyway guys take care and we'll see you soon thank you